Hey DIYers and welcome to the, I believe it's the fifth episode in the Become a Frontend Developer series. Today we're going to build a website. Woo, yay, woo, ah, yay, finally. So we've spent a lot of time kind of going over the basics and, you know, doing a hello world and all that. So today we're actually going to dive in and develop a website from a design comp. So let's start by looking at the design comp. So we've got four different pages. Today we're going to focus on one, which is going to be the home page. So let's go ahead and pull that up here. So I'm going to go ahead and remove all of these guides or not. That's weird. I can I clear the guides? Well, that's that. What's happening? There we go. Clear guides. Okay. So we have a pretty basic page overall here. This is actually a template I found on a website. To be honest, I can't remember it off the top of my head. But I will find it and I will link to it in the description so you can check out the template. It's a free template. It is, you know, they have a bunch of nice stuff on this website. I will, like I said, I can't remember off the top of my head, but I will find it and I will link to it. Um, so, let's talk about how we're going to do this. And let's break this up into, I'm going to use some of my own guides and kind of break this up into how I think this is going to go um, from a, a layout perspective, and then we'll start diving into some code. So, I mean, the first thing is, is, is fairly obvious is going to be, you know, this is going to be the header, and it's going to have you know, your social icons here, your header with your logo, and then your navigation. Um, then the next thing is going to be the slider, which is going to be, again, just this pretty straightforward um, area here, which is kind of got the text and the button and then an image. Uh, I think... We will. We are actually going to. There are a bunch of great slider plugins out there, and I will link to a couple that I use. But I think we're going to, for the sake of teaching, we will end up building this slider from scratch, uh, and then we will probably utilize um, some other things too with that. Uh, the next thing is going to be this little section, which I guess is like a get to know us, like uh, kind of what is the company about, uh, with a little video. It appears which is cool. And the last section, well, I'm going to go ahead and put one there too for just so we kind of keep that all bundled up there. The last major section is going to be this slider like a featured project products projects products projects products a featured projects um section and that's going to be uh pretty not hard. It's not hard. It's actually pretty straightforward, but it's it's going to take a little bit of ingenuity to make this work right. Uh, one thing I will note that we do not have a mobile design comp for this, so we're actually going to, for starters, I'm going to build this the the way I disagree with, which is desktop first. But you know, just to kind of get some code rolling and to get you guys starting to feel more comfortable. Um, and then the last section is going to be this footer section. I think I could break this area up into its own section, but, you know, I'm not, well, actually, let's look at the other design comps real quick and see what it looks like. Yeah, so there, it's all there. So if it's in every page, then it should definitely just be part of the footer. So we're going to pull this down and make it all part of the footer that's going to have this. Are you ready to be blown away? Which is like the click here to find out. The copyright information and then the you know the sub sub nav basically, um, yeah. So let's let's dive in. So let's start by getting anything we need as far as assets go, and then from there we will start developing. To be honest, there aren't a ton of assets that we need. The biggest thing is going to be getting these like little images here. Um, this guy, I guess, is probably something we need. Get rid of that. Get rid of that. All right. Get rid of this little finger. Okay. So these arrows probably wouldn't be a bad idea to have either. Just 
just because. Alright, so we've got our arrows. Uh, I'm trying to think what else we're going to need. And everything else we're going to make with code outside of this image. So I guess I can snag an image here. So let's go ahead and snag that real quick so we have it. Um, let's see, it's probably going to be right there. Yeah, so we got about. Yeah, that works. So let's go ahead and. Alright, so let's save this for web. So it's not going to be a PNG. We're going to save it as a JPEG. Right, so let's save it to. Where did I find this? I think this is. Hmm. I think it's in downloads now, I think about it. Example. Okay. So we're going to create a new folder we're called images. Done. Right. Uh, well, yeah, that's fine. So we're going to call this slide one. Save that. Okay. Close that. And we're going to do this, which is um, basically I'm just kind of, I selected both of those. And I'm just going to merge them together. Oh, well, that's not what I want to see. Just go ahead and rasterize them and then merge them. Yeah, that's fine. So now we have that little icon that we can just copy, paste, take the background out. I did that by double clicking on the background layer and then hitting delete. Uh, so we'll go ahead and save this for web. Um, you want to do a PNG because that will give it a transparent background, which means it can sit on stuff without having a background color. Um, We'll call this link icon. Get rid of that. Um, I guess the logo. I mean, it's not like a really crazy logo, but still. You want to clip it as close to the edges as you can so you have full control and have the image pushing you out of the way of something that layout wise. So we'll save that. Save as logo. Don't save. Okay. Uh, all right. So let's do these images real quick. Whoa. Uh, so let's taking these. That was weird. Alright, so now we're going to save it as JPEG again because we don't need a transparent background because the image goes edge to edge, which is important. Um, call this project. Uh, actually, realistically, we should have a sub folder here. So let's call this um, projects. Projects. Create. Alright, so now we're going to save this as project one. Go ahead and close that. All right, so that one's done. So it, well, this thing is actually masked, which is why when I grab it and I try and move it, um, it's not working out quite right. So let's go ahead and merge these layers again. So that gives us our our image. And I realized I was using shortcut keys, so let's. Uh, so we're going to select it and we're going to hit Command C, which you can also do Edit Copy. See the Command C. And then, because I just did Command C, it's just going to copy what is actually part of this layer. So if I had more stuff behind this, it would pick it up, but it doesn't. It's just that image. So now we should be able to hit Command N, which is new, or you could do File New, and it'll give you the width of that image and the height of that image automatically. Whatever image is in your clipboard, it should do that. So go ahead and paste that in there. Again, we don't have any transparency in this image, so we're just going to say JPEG. We're going to call it Project 2. Oh. The same thing here, like that. Oopsie. <laughs> All right. We're going to merge these layers again. Now we this layer, so this. And we'll save it on the web. Project 3. And then that view is closed, which I'm using to close it in. Mm. All right, so two more. Save for web. Project 4. We'll save. Right. Copy and paste that. 
Save it. Project. Text, 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 text. Uh, yeah, the, just text. Yep. That should, oh, you know, with the icons, we should do the icons here. Make sure we have everything we want for those. Hmm. So let's get rid of this. We're going to rasterize the, all these layers, which just basically means they're now pixels now and not, not shapes. Open up another one again. I keep doing that. Okay. Why is it? What? Ah. All right, fine. Apparently, we're going to do this one. Oh, no. Need not a JPEG. Need a PNG. Technically, because it's on a white background, I could use a, a JPEG or a, or a, a JPEG, a PJEG, a PJEG, a JPEG. But because I want to be able to change the colors whenever I want, I'm going to leave it as a PNG. So this is the Twitter icon. All right, so I think that is everything we need. Ooh. Let's see if they're gonna give me a font type. Uh, yeah, we're not gonna be able to do that. I'm not gonna. So it's we're just gonna not necessarily match the font type. We're probably gonna switch to a like an Arial for now because I'm not quite ready to get into web fonts yet with you guys. Um, that'll be kind of an episode on its own, and then from now on, there on out, we will start doing it more often. I don't think we need anything else. So that'll about wrap it up for this episode. Uh, in the next episode, we'll actually dive into some code. This took a little bit longer to set up, but I think we're ready to roll. Uh, as always, thanks to Wires. Take care.